Hi everyone, my name is Amy. Um, today I'm going to share a bunch of uh, flexure mechanisms that I've used in the past or just really like. Um, I find flexures are often a really beautiful and simple way to solve certain problems and a lot of them can really easily be made with a laser cutter, um, which is how all the examples today were made. Okay, so this is a demo board I made just to have a convenient collection of mechanisms I can share. Um, some of these I've used in past projects and some of them I just really like. So let's go through each of them. Okay, so this is a uh, locking tab mechanism that I used um, on my iPad holder in my car. Um, these, uh, these, I use these tabs here to um, interlock with the with a gasket on one of the car windows and that frame that these are on hold an iPad in place. Um, this here is just a simple ratchet mechanism. Uh, this is called a uh, butterfly flexure because of its shape. You can see there aren't actually any pivots here, but um, its motion kind of mimics that of a rotation. This here is something I made for our house to make sure that we don't overfeed our cat. Uh, he gets two meals a day, but there's multiple people running around, so this lets us set the day of the week, and when he's gotten his breakfast or dinner, uh, we can make note of that. Uh, this is a linear slide mechanism that's pretty common to see in like um, precision locating stages. So pretty satisfying there. Uh, this here, these two are detented slides and the spring flexure here, um, this bottom one is thicker and this one's thinner and that's uh, just to demonstrate how um, with this one, the force is much lower and this one, I might actually have to change a little bit because it's really, really high. And finally, this one here is to demonstrate um, the use of little spring features like this for um, creating snug fits on both round objects like that. Um, and even for more funny shapes, this one just demonstrating a square. Uh, next, I'll show you how these uh, grippers are assembled. Um, these grippers, the fingers here, are inspired by the Festo uh, multi-gripper, and um, it's the fingers are basically this like one-piece structure that have this really lovely way of conforming around the thing that they're gripping. Um, and I will link to some uh, cut files uh, and a bomb for uh, making this gripper. Okay, so this is the full kit of parts needed to make a gripper assembly. I'm using these two part snap together rivets to hold everything together. Um, this will be a lot easier than screws, but one thing is that the bottom of the head of this rivet um, has a bit of a, a chamfer, so on some of these parts um, where the head of the the rivet will sit, I've laser etched a um, a counter bore. I'm trying to make it. I've laser etched a, a counter bore uh, that is going to help the rivet sit more flush. Um, so to assemble it. Uh, I'm going to start by trying to get the spring assembly together. The slider that holds the spring I actually made in two parts so that the spring would actually go on. So the spring goes onto the slider here, there's two little divots that kind of hold it in place, 
and then this piece um, just uh, clips onto here. And since it's going to be sandwiched between two parts, um, that's not going to come apart. And then lastly, these washers here are um, just used because these rivets only snap together at certain thicknesses. So this uh, washer just helps get it to one of the um, one of the snapping thicknesses. And you want to be sure, I guess, before you snap it together, that um, the spring motion works as you want, because technically these rivets are one-time use only. You can take them off, but um, it does damage the, the rivet and the nut uh, when you take them off, so it's better to just make sure that things work well uh, before you snap them in place. That's very satisfying. Okay. Next we'll add these linkages and the actual flexor finger themselves. Um, for the links, I also went ahead and uh, laser etched a counterbore. So I'm just going to be careful about how I put the rivets back in. And now, finally, for the fingers. And there you go. That's it. Um, because the rivets snap at certain distances and the washers aren't perfect, there's um, a little bit of play in the mechanism, but overall it doesn't seem to affect it that much. And now you have this finished gripper um, with cool little flexures. <laughs>